One of golf's biggest tournaments is being played just south of here in Los Angeles. And News Channel reporter Dave Alley has first round highlights. For the third time in five years, the U.S. Open is being held here in California, only this time in Los Angeles, returning for a Hollywood sequel decades in the making. The U.S. Open tees it up in Tinseltown, the major championship coming to Los Angeles for the first time in 75 years. Yeah, it's cool. I mean, I feel like a lot of uh, the Opens tend to be out in New York and a lot of, a lot of the majors are on the East Coast, so it's nice to have something in L.A., a little bit closer to, closer to home. The host site is the Los Angeles Country Club, an historic course that dates back more than 100 years, but it's essentially unknown even to people who live here. I had no idea there was a, a north and a south course. I, I, I've driven like past it like plenty of times on Wilshire and Santa Monica, uh, but never had the honor of uh, coming to the, the country club. What makes this tournament so unique is its location. While most U.S. Opens are played on courses typically far removed from the hustle and bustle of a metro area, the LACC is right in the middle of the city. You wouldn't even know that it was here. It's nice to see something like that, you know, like you're in the city, yet you have all the screen space, you know, that you can play golf. You see like downtown LA and then just a few feet later, you're walking on like open grass and you're like looking all around like, oh my goodness, where am I? It's like a whole different world. The talk of the golf world recently has been the stunning announcement the PGA Tour will merge with rival Live Golf. While details surrounding the unexpected union are unknown for fans here, they say they are ready to concentrate on right now and what happens out there on the course. It's been an interesting week or a couple weeks, but uh, yeah, it's just here. To, we're here to watch the golf. The rough looks really challenging, and I mean, there's a lot of terrain that's, uh, you know, up and down, so it's going to be interesting. So if you're a golf fan, be sure to grab some popcorn. It feels like this tournament could be a blockbuster. I guess, you know, anything can happen with, uh, with, a, with a course that maybe nobody's played a lot for. So that's the exciting part is when you get somebody that, that may be an underdog that, that's not pick to win and, and you can cheer for them to, to win the whole thing. Whatever happens over the next four days, what is known, the wait for the next U.S. Open here in Los Angeles won't be as long as the last one. This tournament returns back here to the Country Club in 2039. In Los Angeles, I'm News Channel reporter Dave Alley.